Welcome back to Worthy Women's Entrepreneurial Wednesday. My name is Latia and today's topic is all about reinvention. Today's episode is an excerpt from my Worthy Women's Seminar Series number 32, The Ultimate Reinvention, A Woman's Guide to Starting Over. Are you ready? I'm ready, let's go. I'm going to give you five steps to reinvent yourself and reinvent your brand. Step number one, I need you to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. No reinvention can happen if you don't allow yourself to be uncomfortable because it's in that uncomfortability where we find out the gem of who we really are. How uncomfortable are you willing to be is the question that you need to ask yourself because if you're trying to repurpose yourself or repurpose your brand, then you have to be willing to go into places that you have never been before. And this means feeling things you've never felt before and having experiences that you haven't had before. That's the only way that you're going to get to a place that is new for you, fresh for you and real for you. Nothing new can exist if you're afraid to get rid of old habits. So you have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Remember, new experiences is going to breed new knowledge. New knowledge is going to breed new skills and new skills is going to breed new purpose. Step number two, you have to give yourself permission to grow. A lot of times we are so used to being in the boxes that we've carved out for ourselves that we don't give ourselves permission to grow and permission to explore and permission to be outside of our comfort zone. You have to give yourself permission to grow so that you can rediscover yourself. You cannot rediscover yourself if you're doing the same old things in the same old way yielding the same old results. In that rediscovery process, you might even find that you have new passions, new gifts, and guess what? You might even have a new target market. So allow yourself to grow and allow yourself to discover. Step number three is I need you to face your fear of failing. Face it, head on, don't hide from it, don't run from it. I need you to face your fear of failing because what is the worst that can happen? The worst that can happen is that you try something and it doesn't work. That's it, that's the worst that can happen. If you try something and it doesn't work, you restart. That's it. So allow yourself to feel those feelings of possibly failing because more than anything, Fear keeps us from accessing the greatest parts of ourselves. It keeps us from discovering new things. It, it keeps us from opening new doors and seeking new opportunities. So allow yourself to face your fears. Step number four, I need you to retool your toolbox. In the process of reinvention, you may have to retool yourself so that you can meet the needs of this new and exciting chapter that you're entering in. That may mean going back to school. It may mean taking some classes. It may mean coming to the Worthy Women's Seminar Series. It may mean a lot of different things, but since you're attempting to access a part of yourself that you're not familiar with, you need to retool so that you will have the tools necessary to carry out your reinvention. Last but not least, step number five, I need you to repurpose your gifts. I need you to find new ways to serve, share, and support someone else. Remember, reinvention, like a lot of other things, is about you, but it's really not about you. Reinvention is all about how you can better serve to make a greater impact. With that, I hope you feel like you have the basis of what you need to start your reinvention, and I look forward to seeing all the wonderful things that you're doing for the world. I'll see you in the next video.